Thank you for joining us. I'm Naiba Reynoso. Ahead, a new report sheds light on Black Los Angeles. Plus, the new fire chief is sworn in. But first, a stray bullet nearly ended the basketball dreams of six-year-old Willie Young III. Watch his story of grit and perseverance as a player in the wheelchair sports program at LA County's Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center. My name is Willie Young and I am 12 years old. I never thought I would be playing basketball. Willie was six years old and on January the 7th in 2017, he was struck by uh, a stray bullet. He and his sister, they were just uh, playing out of nowhere. Uh, shots rang out. One unfortunately hit um, Willie in the upper quadrant of his left lung and it exited uh, next to a spinal column. We found out that he was um, paraplegic. There was no movement there from the chest down. We said, okay, we're going to Rancho. And off to Rancho we went. Rancho Los Amigos changed everything, not only for him, but it changed it for us as well. What they did for us is show us that indeed we can do this. We, we, we are up to it. They gave us the skills to help him uh, care for himself in every way that he would need moving forward. The recreational therapist at Rancho um, had been mentioning the wheelchair sports program. And so we went to the old tennis court and we heard the dribbling of balls. We heard the laughter of the kids. These kids, they were wide open. They were zooming right past each other. It was one of the first times in a few weeks that I saw Willie truly excited about something that he would be able to do in a wheelchair. This is our basketball court right here. The Rancho Los Amigos Wheelchair Sports Program is a program for adults and children. It's a competitive and a recreational program. Uh, we're teaching wheelchair basketball and it allows people with physical disability to be able to play and compete um, with their friends. Well, and this is a wheelchair basketball chair. And so the wheels are cambered so that you can turn really fast. And then there's six wheels, so you're not gonna flip over, okay? During their rehab program, uh, we will work with them daily, trying to teach them the simple skills of wheelchair basketball. And then we'll, after that, when they get discharged, we'll introduce them to our wheelchair sports program where they can transition and be able to practice more and be able to compete just like regular basketball, okay? So for every two pushes, you have to at least dribble once or it's okay. a trap. I've been coaching Willie Young since he was six years old. A new injury, kids are very shy about or they're very timid of watching Willie how much he's grown mentally with the game. He knows how to shoot, he knows how to push. Program is we really want the kids to understand. We want you to keep on moving forward with your life. It's not a matter of feeling sorry for yourself, but to understand that we, we really want you to, to see what, what's out there. That's what the program is all about, is to really understand that, hey, you can, you can do anything you want as long as you, as you have it in your heart to, to do this. Right out of rehab, he was already in basketball practice and he started with the Futures, which is the lowest level of the team. He started with the Futures and the rest is history. I mean, now he's, he's traveling. He's on a traveling basketball team. Basketball has brought to Willie's life a lot of joy, a lot of excitement, being independent, being able to be around peers of his, in his same condition, and just to be a kid, and just to live a, a normal life like everybody else's. It's a continuum of care from inpatient to outpatient to being able to get out into the communities. It helps our athletes mentally, physically, cognitively, and emotionally to be able to get back out there after living with an injury. Although we have been told about the wheelchair sports program, we didn't know how you were gonna adapt to it. We didn't know if it would be for you. We didn't know if you would like it. But, you know, I get a real thrill seeing you out there competing 
getting sweaty, fighting over the ball. And, you know, I'm really proud of you. I, I know that you can do so much in this sport, in this chair, and uh, you can be great. Just know that we're proud of you and we love watching you play. Nice shot. It has been a, a long journey from the time I was in a hospital till the time like now that I get to play on the court. I'm grateful for the opportunity to play basketball. I hope that I could play in the Olympics. That's my goal. I won't let anything stop me. A new report on the state of Black Los Angeles examines the challenges faced by Black communities in Los Angeles County and steps underway to address them. Here's more. Black women, Black mothers, Black sisters, our entire kin, all we know is death and siren and death after we hear sirens and funerals where auntie always falls out and grandma screams and shakes in the feeling that nobody cares about her screams. The day we launched our State of Black Los Angeles County report uh, and invited members of our community throughout the entire county to come and learn more about the data that's affecting their, their lives in, in, in our communities as well as to understand what we can do about some of the challenges we face in our communities. My intention is to change the way in which government provides support to poor people to stop criminalizing poverty and make, pe making people jump through erroneous, excessive, offensive hoops to validate their need for public support. So many people know what is wrong and so many people know what to do, but we just need to do it. And I think we need to be intentional um, to move swiftly to undo some of the wrongs that have been impacting our community for hundreds of years. If you care about this community, um, then you need to care about this report. This report is for everyone. And the design of it, the way that it has a digital component with the graphs to make it easily readable and accessible, I think should be on the reading list of every household throughout Los Angeles County. There's a new fire chief in town. Watch now as Anthony Maroney takes the helm at the LA County Fire Department. Take a look. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Upon which I'm about to enter. About which I am about, upon which I am about to enter. Congratulations, Chief Maroney. We are swearing in the 10th fire chief for the LA County Fire Department, Chief Anthony Maroney. Um, it's a very uh, exciting day uh, that we're swearing in another chief, and Board of Supervisors has complete confidence in Chief Maroney that he will continue to lead this department with strength, with courage, uh, and with dedication. Well, today's a really special day for myself. I mean, getting a, getting appointed and sworn in as the 10th Forester and Fire Warden, the Fire Chief of the County of Los Angeles Fire Department, an awesome responsibility for me to lead 5,000 men and women uh, into harm's way, uh, especially coming up on what is certainly going to be a very busy brush fire season. No, it's, it's a true honor to be the 10th Fire Chief of the County of Los Angeles Fire Department. Thanks for joining us. We leave you now with scenes of the last days of the winter sports season at Mountain High Resort, right here in LA County. We'll see you next time on LA County Close Up.